What's up guys? Um, just here to show you the new clutch stopper idea that we have. Um, called it a new age one, obviously, because it's not what you're used to. Uh, it's something uh, different than, you know, right now in the market, we have this one made by uh, Marty, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, works JDM, which is a really nice piece. Uh, we actually got one here. We looked at it. We were like, wow, it's pretty cool. It bolts here, you know, it bolts down and it stops it at the file, which is a great, great, great idea. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking it by any means. Um, we do a lot of uh, data uh, acquisition. We do a lot of the speed sensors and the cam and crank sensors. So we on the electronical side of all of this, we figured out a different way. So um, this is what we got. We got a hall sensor, which is threaded 12 by 1.25. Um, don't mind this clutch pedal I got. I don't know where it came from, but it has like Honda Bond in there. I actually pulled it out of a car. But, um, you know, just to show you, uh, most people stick a bolt in here and then you don't have a clutch switch. So we went a step further. We made this out of stainless steel, uh, 0.80 wall. It's really, really thick um, stainless steel, so it's nice and strong. And then uh, when you push on the clutch pedal, you get, obviously, the signal to release the clutch, you know, so that you can use it as a clutch switch. Or full throttle shifting, you can use it pretty much for anything you'd like. Um, at the end of the day, it's a very simple design, you know, it utilizes everything factory Honda and, um, I hope you like it. So we will have these for sale very soon. Uh, we're just still, uh, working out, you know, any kinks. We're going to try it on a couple cars. Um, so basically, you know, second you step down, it also stops the clutch from traveling any further. Um, just a really good idea. I mean, I think anyway, I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, we're going to go smash some gears on it and make sure that the bolt stays together. But um, being stainless steel and 0 .80 wall, I think it, it's going to do just fine. Um, you know, just another, another product coming out. Um, we have, I think, five testers on hand, and I'm about to order, you know, 50 to 100 more. Um, they're going to be really, really good. Uh, we're thinking somewhere around uh, 79 to 89 bucks. Um, you know, and obviously the shipping, I think it's like three to four bucks. It doesn't really matter unless it's going really far. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, send them right in this post and uh, we'll try to answer any or all questions needed. We will also be making a plastic insert that will go here. So most people, those, those breaks over, break over the years, we're just going to make a little uh, 3D printed one that we will put in the bag just in case you need it. Um, yeah, uh, test this out as much as we can and take it from there. Thank you for watching.